This is WENY News. Thanks for clicking on the webcast. I'm Kelly Meyer. Here's the latest from WENY News and the Star Gazette. Our big story this morning, results are still coming in from yesterday's primary election here in New York State. The largest race of all, the governor's race. New this morning with 98.3% of the precincts reporting as of 5 a.m. Andrew Cuomo has 62.1% while his competitor Zypher Teachout is trailing behind at 34.2%. As for the race for a lieutenant governor, results as of 5 a.m. this morning show Kathy Hochul leading Tim Wu with 59.9% of the votes. Wu has 40.1%. And back to the governor's race, Cuomo emerged from the state's Democratic primary victorious but bruised on Tuesday, defeating a little-known law professor whose bare-bones campaign galvanized liberal dissatisfaction with Cuomo's pragmatic centrist approach. Unofficial returns gave Cuomo the victory over Teachout, a Fordham University law professor, and drug law activist Randy Credico came in third. And as for the results in Shimon County, where there were Republican primaries for two legislative districts, according to the latest numbers out overnight, 5th District Legislator Cindy Grobarb has lost, and he was challenged by Republican Kenneth Miller. And in the 8th District, Legislator Peggy Woodard will keep her seat, Republican Frank Cece Jr. coming up short. In the Village of Horseheads, Brad Lytle and Caitlin McGurgan were competing for the one-year trustee position. Lytle has the unofficial majority with 64.64% of the vote, and McGurgan had 35.14%. As a quick reminder, WENY News is your source for election coverage this year. For updates on demand, go to WENY.com, like us on Facebook, or follow us on Twitter. We'll have more updates for you on the primary results today at noon, 5, 36, and 11. And new this morning and happening in just a few hours from now, Rochester police officer Daryl Pearson will be laid to rest. Pearson's coffin was placed downtown overnight in anticipation of his funeral service today at 11 inside the Blue Cross Arena. The upstate New York officer was married and a father of two young children. Pearson was shot and killed September 3rd while trying to apprehend a suspect. Authorities say 38-year-old Thomas Johnson III of Rochester was charged with eight felonies in the shooting. All right, Craig's here with today's forecast. Craig. Okay, good morning, everyone. Thanks for being on the website with us. I think the warmest day today with temperatures approaching 80 degrees and a pretty healthy southerly wind today between 10 and 18 miles per hour. We should stay dry throughout the course of the day with a mixture of clouds and sunshine. Late tonight, the clouds will increase and we'll have a couple of showers and thunder showers likely rolling through late. So nearing 80 this afternoon, that will be the warmest day. The transition day is Thursday, meaning that we're going to be tracking a cold front. Once that front moves through the region with some showers and thunder, temperatures will uh, head down into the uh, 60s for highs as we head into our um, Friday and through the weekend. So a little bit below normal temperature wise uh, as we head into Friday and the upcoming weekend. So too cool, a little too soon. Here's a look at uh, satellite and Doppler radar loops combined on your Wednesday and the front currently off to the north and west. You can see some rain associated with it. That uh, will actually likely spark some uh, severe weather today across portions of the Ohio Valley as that uh, front moves through that area and eventually it moves through our area too. So here it is uh, as we head into Thursday. We'll put the maps into motion. You'll see the front diving south and behind it, much cooler weather will filter in. So we're looking at temperatures below average by Thursday, I should say by Friday and through the weekend, temperatures averaging in the 60s, which is a solid 10 to 15 degrees below where we should be. So it will be a bit cool as we head into the upcoming weekend. All right, there we go with your seven day forecast. 80 today, 75 Thursday, showers and thunder. 65 on Friday, much cooler. Scattered showers around on Saturday at 62, so autumn-like, and a good deal of sun will be out Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday, but temperatures will still struggle in the 60s, so kind of an appetizer of fall. Kelly? All right, we'll get out there and enjoy that 80-degree day. I guess the last bit of summer there, Craig? Would that be it for us? We'll see. We'll see. All right, well, for the latest news, weather, and sports, be sure to watch WENY News at noon, 536 and 11, and don't forget to pick up a copy of today's Star Gazette. I'm Kelly Meyer. Have a great day.